His ankles were caught in the spokes of the bike and sort of just tore the skin off. Prank gone wrong, I guess. Welcome, guys, to the season finale, episode number 40 of the Marty and Michael podcast. It's fully actual. And uh, yeah, this is the season finale. We didn't know how many episodes we were going to do this season, but we decided two weeks ago that we'd do 40. 40 is a good number. Now, don't stress, all right? We're only gone for two months. So it's 1st of December right now. This will be out next week. So you'll only have to wait two months seven weeks yeah yeah not even yeah not even two months seven weeks for season two to start all right and season two we've got some big plans we'll get into that a little bit later but first michael wants to clap um oh fuck well said all right so uh on the weekend we um we did some we did some uh drugs first time we did mdma in a long time well, not that long. And dude, I haven't done it. F- oh, maybe a week. Yeah. So yeah. So it's been about a week since we did it. So, <laughs> but we didn't just normally. It's like one cap because some cunt gives you a free one when you're out. This I went hardcore. I did ten in twenty four hours, and I'm having come downs from it today. I'm depressed. My head hurts. I get little twitches before I go to sleep. My brain has hot. Is I've got. Is, can dudes get menopause? Yes. I've got menopause. I'm getting hot flushes constantly. I fucking don't do MDMA or don't do as much as, don't do ten. Yeah, we fucking it's it's our serotonin levels are quite low today. It's been it's been a sad sad day. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, some of you might be aware we started our we launched our website yesterday. Hmm. Yesterday it took off. And fuck me, didn't we get a, a mixed bag of reactions? Oh, 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 Marty, I'm not as mad. Marty's pissed so, off with some of you guys. So we, um, not the people that listen to the podcast, just the fuckwits who get that everything. messaged us. Yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll look. So the website is just where all our deleted shit is going on. So we're paying to set up a website to run it. And then, yes, we, we, uh, we charge people $5 a month. $5 a month. It's free. That's fucking free. That's like two coffees, all right, a month to watch our deleted shit that we can't post on social media. If we posted these videos on our Facebook page, our Facebook page would be deleted instantly and you would never see videos from us anymore. So we have no choice to make a website, okay? Yesterday, I (laughs) wrote a post on Facebook saying the website is live and you wouldn't believe... The fucking reaction we got. (laughs) Fuck, he was grumpy all day with you. Not with you guys, but some of you, if you listen to the podcast that did this. (sighs) Okay, let me find... Name shame them, go into their profile, especially if they're fat. (laughs) And show pictures of them. Fuck. Fuck me, man. All right, let me just find some of the fucking good ones. God. Fat. All right. All right, so we've been promoting this website. We've been building a bit of hype for about a month, okay? And we've been getting people to join a waiting list. And then, you know, we accepted a thousand people once the website was live because we didn't want to flood the website and have it crash and everyone starts screaming and crying. All right, so we let a thousand people in. We launched the website. I wrote on our Facebook page just a little post. These are some of the comments that we even, we got like, Probably a hundred messages from people being like, eh, you guys are sellouts, you guys are this and that. This is one comment. Should have mentioned the price rather than attempt to pull a bit of a scam there. Love you guys' videos, but not going to pay to watch. What's his name? Anthony Vicente the Second. Yuck. So fuck you, first of all. Scam? Do you even know what a fucking scam is? A scam is when you pay for something and then don't receive the services or goods that you pay for. Or when you read something really quickly down a page. You fucking you scam, idiot. You scam that read is, it. That is, this is not a scam. We're only offering a side service in addition to all the free content everyone gets. A side service where if you want to, we're not forcing anyone. We're just saying, hey, this is now available. It's $5. You can pay if you want. If you don't. All good. If you don't want to pay, nothing changes for you. It's all the same. You still get your free weekly fucking content on all the platforms. If you want to pay $5, then you get to see the deleted shit. And wouldn't you believe how pissed off people get as soon as you ask for a bit of fucking money? 
Oh my god, you fucking idiots. All of you fucking dumb fucks who messaged us, I want to fight you. Yeah, he did, he did say that at Nando's before. He said, I, I want, want to I'd fight, fight every single one of them. Anyone who messages, if, if you see me in the street, fight me. I want to <laughs> fight you. <laughs> Anthony Vicente II, fuck you. It's not a scam. It's a very normal thing to do. Where people are, oh, you didn't mention there was a price. When you see a movie trailer, does it mention the ticket price at the bottom? No, you just know it's a movie, so you're going to have to pay to buy a fucking ticket. We said subscription website. What do you think a subscription website is? Huh? We you get, pay. You get your free video on Instagram, your free video on Facebook, your free video on YouTube. If you're a little kid, your free video on TikTok. And then people have the balls to get up us for asking for $5, which I consider free. It's, it's, it's fucking, it's so ungrateful for like five years. All we do is just fucking pump out videos for free. We've only been getting paid for a year. A year ago, we were living off like $300 a week. Okay. We are by no means rich. Look at this shithole. Look at this shit set. Look at my face. This is a shit $5 set. Okay. It's nothing. Fuck. Fuck. That's them. That's the guys that don't want to pay five bucks. Okay? Anthony. That's your fucking skull cunt. <laughs> Here's another comment from Jesse Lundqvist. You're charging for it. Sorry, love your videos, but guys, come on, don't be sellouts. Oh, okay. We'll just continue to be poor for the rest of our lives and give you guys free videos. Sorry we want to make a fucking living and eat some food and pay rent. Sorry, guys. You fucking ungrateful dogs. I want to buy a second car. And then there were, a lot of people did... did Sorry, a third car. I want to buy a third car. <laughs> a lot of people did jump to our defense. Uh, Jackson understands. Jackson Adoe defended us. A lot of other influencers defended us. And there were a lot of people who did defend us in the end. So thank you for that. For those people who had the fucking nerve to tell us that we're scam artists and sell out... For charging five dollars, we're just trying to break even for making for building a website for you. All right, so just fucking calm down. The, of course, this doesn't apply to anyone listening or watching the podcast. We know you guys are true fans, this is and just thank going you to Anthony the pedophile. Yeah, just to anyone who messaged us and commented that sort of dumb shit. That's fucked up. All right, Jesus Christ. But thank you to all of those people who subscribe uh, to who did subscribe. We've we've filled the slots. And as far as I can see, everyone is very happy with the website. Everything's working. Everything's fine. And everyone's very happy with the content. There are some fucked up videos on there. Yeah. Isn't there like an hour of footage just for There's free? over an hour. There's over an hour. All of the podcasts. And then I thought it was one a week, but they're getting two a week. Two brand new videos a week. And these aren't like short three minute videos. So these are like 10 minute videos. For $5 a month, you get eight videos. That's less than a dollar a video. Yeah. I want, let's charge more. <laughs> Done. It's $50 to sign up now. We're deleting the website. Sorry. I quit. I still want that third car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Marty's been in a bad mood all day. He's been taking it out on me. I hit him. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the first one was nice. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I feel better now. But yeah, fuck you guys. All right. Fuck you for thinking that we're scammers. Not you sell if you're good, but yeah, not the guys you. that Only that. specifically the people that messaged us and commented negative shit. Take it elsewhere, you fucking dogs. And our group, I did the, post it in our Marty and Michael Facebook group, could not believe the backlash. Had to delete the post because I was just so yeah. full of rage. Unbelievable. Ah! Free content for years. Ask for a cent and everyone fucking loses their shit. Unbelievable. Anyway, moving on to uh, the next uh, segment. Hmm. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a good one. The um, this segment has been uh, renamed. Oh man, I'm getting weird spasms everywhere. That don't. Wow. And basically, this is the PO unboxing segment. Look, we've been sent four packages. Now, last week, you are probably all aware that someone sent us some oh. human shit. Yeah, that stunk the house out for ages. Yeah, that was uh, seriously fucked. Seriously fucked. But thank you. We, we asked for it. It made my girlfriend all shitty, too. 
for a long, way too long time. Now, there are four, pa- there's a letter and then here three too. other packages. And one of them says, is addressed to Judge Judy. And if you don't know, we have been... Let's do that uh, one last because I'm pretty sure we know what it's going to be. Uh, yeah, I, I think we've been sent more shit, more human shit. So thank you. <laughs> but if this will be you, if we ever run into Judge Judy, we could use this mm. and throw shit. Yeah, we'll keep it in the house. And again, we've, I've trawled through all of social media, all over the internet. I still haven't found any footage of anyone throwing any human shit at Judge Judy's back. So just remember, spread the word. Just comment, hasht- hashtag... Someone throw human shit at Judge Judy's back. The center of her back. The center of her back. Just in the middle, not hard. You know, we don't want to hurt her. We just want to see her reaction mm, when she realizes science. that it's human shit. Throw it, run, film it, and, uh, and send it in. Okay? Um, so spread the word. Just comment at that hashtag randomly on it, anything. Yeah, everywhere. Just even graffiti it on schools, government buildings. Government buildings, schools, daycare centers, roads. I'm picking my scab off. Mm. I flicked it at Matt Brown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's let's do the letter first. So this uh, letter is from Rini Sin. Oh, Rini Sin. Yeah. Can they put whatever they want on there? Well, someone sent us human shit. Yeah. No, no, like as in. Their names, where they're sending yeah, I think, it from. Yeah, I think okay. they can be anonymous, yeah. Because the guy who sent us human shit left his name out. Very smart. Oh, wow. Oh, we have a letter. You read the letter, I'll show the picture. <clears throat> All right. To my favorite ringworms. That's us. I'm glad you guys like the cartoon I drew for you. We haven't decided if we like it yet. Oh. It is. It appears to be Donald Trump saying, Damn it, I said play with balls, not build a wall. <laughs> <laughs> A good little laugh. Yeah, that's very good. And uh, it's, yeah, it's quite well drawn. Yeah. Very colourful. That'll go here. That'll go there in, in, uh, in the middle of the set. So thank you very much for that drawing. That would have taken a while. Uh, you're a bit off on the age though. My niece and me watch you guys all the time and can't wait for you guys to do a meet and greet. If I ever see you guys out and about, I'll shout you a very small can of warm beer that <laughs> may, on, may not be piss. I'd love a prank call. My number is... Okay. Yep. That's what we're... We'll, my, we'll call him now. Yeah. Just wait. I'll finish this letter and then we'll call a little I'll fucker. I'll put my phone on private. My Instagram is at Rinny Sin. R-I-N-N-I-E-S-I-N-N. Snapchat is Aunt Maud. A-U-N-T-M-A-U-D. Keep making us laugh from Rinny. P.S. Mm-hmm. If I ever see Judge Judy, I'll hurl a big turd at her back and film it. Thank you. <laughs> I love the word turd. That's all I ask. Mm. All right, let's let's uh, let's give her a buzz. Him or her? Rinny. I think that's both. It's like a hermaphrodite. Yeah, you're right. It must be like some sort of uh, crossbreed. Rinny. Hi. Um, hello, who's, who's speaking here? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Rinny. Fuck you, Rinny! <laughs> oh, I knew they'd do that! Try again. Oh! Try again. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? You're a great artist. Yeah, I'm, now. Yeah, I'm just across the road. Uh, I think there's a big leak at the front of your house. There's water spilling onto your lawn. A big leak? Yeah, yeah, I can see water gushing just, just from behind the gutter. It looks like it looks like bore water, so it's probably pretty deep. You might want to call an emergency plumber. Who's calling you? The FBI. No, FDA. The FDA. This is the FDA. The There's fucking. No, really? Fuck! My eyes are all fingered. My eyes are all fingered. Is this Rinny? Is this Rinny? Hey. Is this Rinny? Yes. Do you know who this is? You're uh, you're on the podcast now. Oh, awesome! And we, did you draw that picture? Which one? The the Donald Trump as a clown one. Yes. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank you very much. We're gonna hang that up on the set. I drew that one and the um the cartoon of you guys. Oh, you drew the car- the the one where we're diving into oh, the shit. Oh wow! You've sent us yeah. twice. That's oh, beautiful. Fucking legend. I, I draw cartoons. Oh wow! There you go. Wow. 
There you go. Oh, awesome. Thank you guys for calling. No, that's all right. Thanks for sending in some stuff. It was beautiful. This is the season finale, by the way. Oh, really? Are you still going with podcasts? Yeah, yeah. We start again early February next year. Oh, having a Christmas break. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> all right. Well, it was lovely chatting to you. And can, um, just... Winnie, can you sing us a jingle? Can you sing us a little Christmas jingle just to uh, round out the season finale? I don't want to laugh for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah Vinny! Yes! yes! <laughs> Matt from Wholesome Smiling. No worries. You have a lovely Christmas and we'll see you tomorrow night. You too. See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Next uh, package. You want to open that one? Oh, is this... Is this the Judge Judy one? Yeah, then leave that one to the yeah, end because well, that could very well be human shit. I don't know. If it's human oh. shit, you have to open it. You are the one who asked people to send us human shit. <laughs> yeah, I did. Mm, men shield. Fast absorbent, discreet fit, odor control. This is like a uh, pad for men. Very, very good. We've... Uh, Michael... <laughs> Piss, I guess this is for Michael because he pisses himself a lot. I haven't pissed in a few days. Oh fuck! I don't. I think it's been over a month. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, we've tried using. Uh, this looks like it might be a bit too thin. I've literally put an adult diaper, on, adult diaper on Michael before, and it just overflows. Yeah, yeah, it does. It goes through. You can probably shit in it. You can't piss in them because it just goes through the cracks. Yeah, I don't think it's meant for just a, like just to in i think it's meant for like just a, little, a bit of bladder leakage leak yeah all right do you want to put this on where's it go on your cock yeah just on the cock and balls on the cock. maybe on the bum hole a little bit anthrax someone oh, yeah. sent us anthrax Fuck. someone sent us anthrax no it's, it's, anthrax. Not, it's not anthrax oh you freaked me out man you freaked me out <laughs> <laughs> all right put it on your dick and balls and show everyone your dick i don't know what if no it was not, packaged yeah, it's fine. It's it's not anthrax. I don't think. Oh, yep, that's good. All right, that should... You can piss now. I guess it's not nudity yeah. if you show... It's the top. There you go. Um, See if it works. Yep, it works. It's caught the piss. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and that was from... Um, it doesn't say, but thank you for sending that in because... Uh, Necessary. Michael does piss a lot. <laughs> he pisses a lot. <laughs> All right, next package is not from anyone. Oh, I'm fucking nervous. Oh, here we go. What do we got here? Oh, an adult nappy. <laughs> what was the other one? The, uh, that was like an adult a man pad. Okay. If you're like... Menopause. B like leaking from the cock hole a bit. Mm. This is a full-blown... Real fit for men, three in one, fast absorption, discreet fit, odor control. Odor I control. I guarantee it won't work. Well, the, this yeah. one looks expensive. I buy them in like packs of forty. Yeah, he needs like a big, like fucking, like a pillow. I will use this. Yeah, because this one looks like it, it, the, it, the price of one of these is the price of forty of the shit ones. So that means this should work. I think it will. I don't think it'll work completely, but hey, any any little bit helps. Even if it stops twenty five percent of your bladder mm. leaking out onto uh, Fiona's mattress, that's that's a win. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, do you want to uh, open the Judge Judy one? Yeah. Since you're the shit expert, yeah. you if I can't, you didn't even wipe it on your face last week, dude. It was too much. I realized that that... What, can you get diseases off that shit? I'd say so. I don't reckon you can. Yeah, okay. Fiona, girlfriend, she scared me. <laughs> Got on my head and shit. Oh, shit. Oh, it's poo. Is it really? Yeah. Fuck off. Do not... Be careful. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's more shit. Someone ah. sent us No, no, no. We won't. We can't tell them. I don't know if we can really tell them what this is because then it's illegal. What is it? Oh, it's weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course we can tell them. You fucking Dude, it's over. 
Oh no, it's herbs. Okay, it's out. oregano. We'll beep it out. Oh fuck yes! Who's this legend? Oh, of course, you wouldn't put your fucking details sending that in the mail. Oh wow, that's so cool. Yes, this is what we want. Send us more drugs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's oregano. It's oregano or rosemary. I don't know if it is weed. Oh, it could be like anthrax. <laughs> it's anthrax. <laughs> it's not weed. Yeah, no, nah, that's not. It looks. Oh, it looks so should we try? Weed. Have we got a pipe here? I'll smoke it anyway. Yeah, well, oh, fucking hell, that's such a. I'm actually out. It too. says smoke it on there, but um, I guess we could use it for cooking. It's close to drugs, so thank you. It's nearly drugs. Yeah. Oh. 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 Is it hidden in your Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we got pills. No we got way. Fucking pills. Oh my god. It's anthrax. They've oh. sent us little balls. They look like Valiums. Fuck off. Yeah. Alright, I guess we have to take them. Alright, well, how many pills are in there? That's nice. There's okay, two. there's a, it's the gift that just keeps on giving. Dig more. There might be some black tar heroin in there. Thank you. So yeah. A PO box right. is starting to become quite bloody interesting there. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, no. Michael's fucked it. Watch Matt Brown from Wholesome. He's going to jump uh, into action here. He's just uh, off to get a towel. Um, he deals with this sort of stuff all the time at Wholesome. <laughs> uh, he actually deals with quite a lot of problems, so this is nothing. He'll be cool, calm, and collected. And here he comes now, swooping back in. <laughs> mm, there we go. One clean sweep and uh, all gone. That's done. Mm, Someone might go. cully that, so it's cully. Matthew Brown from uh, Wholesome there. So Michael's gone and... Spilt beer on his very expensive podcast equipment, so yeah, he'll be he'll be quite Sorry, upset. Sorry, Matthew. Though. He'll be quite upset indeed, yeah. I can't broken. believe you got sent drugs, dude. Might have broken it. It could be poison. Yeah, fuck. We'll give it to Bosley. Oh. All right, uh, moving right along. It's oh. up to uh, question time, question time, question, question, question time. Um, And that's the name of this segment. And basically, this is just where you guys have DM'd us questions from Instagram. And we're going to fucking answer the dogs. All right. This question is from Matty D 3484 And he has asked. Yeah, I did. But all I can find on the website is join now. How can I not support you guys? You make me laugh. Uh, it's not really a... Oh, question. There it is. Question. I've signed up to the website but can't seem to sign in. Uh, you go to your email and you'll get the confirmation link. You click on that and then it takes you to the landing page. Yeah, to put your password and email in and then you get access. Because you've got, you got to sign up with an email. So once you've signed up, then you get an email with the link to log in. Um, fuck. All right. This person has asked. Doey underscore 95. What? What? What do you know what like it is like you do those stunts? Ha 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 ha. In Marty's gross as laugh. <laughs> Like, do you do those stunts and that for camera? But like, what is it like you do it when you do it like it's really funny? I love you two more than my fiance. And if, Ma <laughs> <laughs> and if Michael wanted to share like a little like kissy dissy with me, I'd be like, <laughs> like what the yeah, like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, let's fucking just fucking kiss, eh? Kiss me, you dirty slag. Arr. I Yeah, okay. Where are you from? What messages where you're from, Doe? And I'll send Michael to you on a train, and then you guys can kiss <laughs> in front of your fiance. I'll do it. Yeah. All right. This question is from underscore Adam underscore underscore Graham underscore. What got used into comedy? I don't know. What it just uh, just a, uh, a a feeling you get um, when you uh, it's inside your bones. Yes. And. Uh, goes electric baby when we turn it on when someone smiles at you after you've made a um after you've jammed a pencil into your friend's thigh and you make someone smile that feeling <laughs> yeah it's like um it's like shooting up heroin it's good yeah very good very good so i think it's just a love for um it's nice seeing your friends laugh as well as strangers laugh it and it releases Good feelings in your soul. And if you can make someone laugh by hurting someone else. Oh, dude, slapstick humor is my favorite. That's like. Even when an innocent person falls old, an old lady falls over, I will laugh hard inside my head 
Actually, if she can't hear me, I'll laugh out loud to shock my friends. And then you help them. So yeah, that's that's the question. Yeah, we like that feeling that makes you feel good, which is laughing. So I guess we're just Even born when, with it. Yeah, I like laughing myself. I'll do shit just to make myself laugh first. And then if it's a, it's a bonus if other people laugh at it. <clears throat> All right, next question is from Joseph Brennan, 1108. And he or she has asked... Guys, he will throw the shit at Judge Judy. I'm expecting this to be in the next podcast, dudes. All right, so Toronto police are looking for a serial feces thrower. He's believed to be responsible for three similar fecal attacks. Fucking legend. There's a guy running around yeah. Toronto pegging shit at people. Maybe he doesn't know who Judge Judy is. If he if you he clearly listens to the show, if fecal thrower. If, if you just Google Judge Judy and click on images so you can see what she looks like. And I'm pretty sure, where would she live? Judge Judy Scheindlin. Alabama. She lives in Alabama. So just go to Alabama with a bag full of human shit and just have a fucking thrower. Mm. Good on you. We support that. <clears throat> Question for the podcast this is from Jake underscore Austin 007. Since you prank call Domino's a lot, how do you feel about the debate of pineapple on pizzas? Personally, fuck that. I love it. Yeah, it is a bit I've, weird. Fruit on pizza. Oh, but, man. But Ham and pineapple growing up was my favorite. Yeah, it's a very Australian thing, isn't it? Or oh, it's a Hawaiian thing. Mm. But yeah, no, it's like I'll eat it, but it's it's definitely not my first choice. But yeah, the you, sweet and salty, it works. You like meat lovers. You can come through, little Kulu. But you're clear. Here comes Lockie. He's covered in sweat because he's been sprinting after cats. All right. Next question is from abs underscore J21. What a strange name. Oi, if you guys had anywhere in the world to go, where would it be and why? I'd go oh. straight to Alabama with a backpack full of month-old shit. Mm. And I'd sit outside the, the courthouse there and I'd wait. I'd wait till the end of the day. I'd wait for Judge Judy Scheinland to come out. I'd stalk her into the car park. I'd get maybe five meters close. I'd be wearing a dark hood. I'd reach into my backpack, grab a uh, large, maybe two large handfuls of my own feces. And I would uh, explosively peg that shit. Sling it at her. Right in the middle of her back. Mm. Right in the middle of it. And then I'd only start running once she'd realize where it is. Yeah, you'd have to see the reaction properly. So she'd, would just she'd be... turn around and see me smiling first. How dare you? And then she'd like grab at her back and like maybe feel feel what it was and then just touch a bit of the shit and then look at her hand and see that, yeah, it's human shit. And then I would run. So that's where I would go. Yeah, I'm, I'll probably go right now. I'd If I could be anywhere, I'd want to be in... Finland. F yeah, Finland or Fiji. What a strange selection. Is it because they start with F? Yeah, I was thinking Finland actually. But it's too... I'd rather somewhere hot and just... I'd want a cocktail and I'd be on the beach. And then... Yeah, that's all I'd want to do. Yeah, Fiji. I'd go to Fiji. All right. Next question is from Hugo.Fossey. F-O-S-S-E-Y. What's your favorite video you have ever posted? We've said this one before. Mine is go to our YouTube, type in crazy stalker prank. And it's my favorite video we've done. It's, we've, I've told you before, it's me going up to people at university. Marty comes in a, like a rush after me. Like, wait, wait up, Michael. And I act to the person I'm with. I just say, hey, dude, can you cover me? I'm not meant to, I didn't tell him I'm going to be at uni today. He's fucking crazy. Just cover me here. I'm handing you an assignment. And then, as soon as I say that, Marty rocks up. He's got his pants up to his tits. Yeah, I just look like a oh, psycho and I'm acting very like a, real, like I'm obsessed with Michael. He bums me in one of the clips in, some, in front of two girls. He fucking <laughs> brings a dead bird. He just looks fucking... And people, so Michael approaches sweet. these strangers and these strangers are trying to help Michael get rid of me. It's pretty funny. Oh, yeah. Like, that's my favorite just for some reason. I, a lot of our old social experiment pranks are pretty funny. But Yeah. 
I don't know. Yeah, that one for me. What, what about you, Martin? I don't know. I don't know what my favorite would be. The passed out compilation. That's, oh, that's yeah. that makes me laugh every time. It's just a video of all of Michael's passed outness over the years compiled, and it's just me <laughs> fucking with him. And it is good. It is good shit. Oh my god, I could do that all day. I could do that all day. God, I wish you fucking passed out like that. Every day. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting better. Anyway, next question is from Matt underscore Row R O W E one three. And he or she has asked, What type of cooked shit did you get up to on the weekend? <laughs> well, we just we cooked shit. Have we ever done that? No, we've cooked piss. We haven't cooked shit though. That's one thing that is on our website. <laughs> one we did the vomlet where I ate like all this shit. Yeah. Fucking vomited it back into a pan, cooked it, and we added my own piss to it. Ooh, it man. made our friend Luke vomit into the vomit. Did he vomit as well into it? Yeah. I haven't seen it for years. Yeah, so yeah, add, that, see if we put it on Facebook, bang, demonetized, page deleted. That's why we had to wait and do this website and make it free. We and made it free. It's a fucked up video. Five dollars free. <clears throat> um, but yeah, on the weekend we fucking we uh, yeah we just we did some uh, MD on Saturday night on Friday night we um we did MD we did MD and went went out for a little bit and uh, on Sunday we slept all day. Oh, I don't really think I got much sleep. Um, oh, I got an electric skateboard. Oh, that's all I did on Saturday day. I took caps and just went riding, and I was just like munted as fuck, seeing everything scatter and the trees were moving. Oh, try that. That makes it makes electric skateboarding highly so much fun. Highly dangerous. Next question is from Torres, T O R R E S underscore Elizabeth eight. And he or she has asked Question for the podcast. Marty, would you rather fuck unlimited cows or be immortal? Fuck. Well, I think uh fucking unlimited cows does make me immortal. I sort of um feel alive and like i look younger after i fuck one gets this it yeah like the stress it, yeah and it just sort of detoxifies the body and it's just sort of really uh, clears all the free radicals out of your body every time i smash my dick into a cow mm. and i strangle the life out of it yeah it's sort of i think a part of it sort of comes over me like, i used to look a lot older like three years ago everyone's like oh are you 35? Like, I like just looked terrible and very unhealthy since I've given in to my urges and just been going on rampages, smashing the fuck out of cows. Like, I look a lot better. I'm thinner. It and it doesn't hurt anyone else. No, it doesn't really hurt anyone. Hmm. Like, cows aren't humans. Hmm. They're not people. So, like... People eat them all the time. You should. Be, you can fuck one if you want. And, like, I'm, I'm sure there's a little bit of pleasure in it for them there, too. There are moments. We have moments sometimes. Like, I'll be... I'll be, even if I'm just sort of with one cow and then there's like another few watching in the distance, I'll make eye contact with one of those cows and you can sort of see that they want it. Like they sort of are a bit, a bit jealous and... Yeah, they want the attention. Waiting in the shadows. So yeah, I think that the two go hand in hand. Fucking cows and being immortal, it's the same thing. Yeah. I think. Anyway, next question. Is from Luke underscore seventy four. Do you think Jackson Jackson should fight Shami? That would be very entertaining. Oh fuck! They should do. Especially they should fight, and we should fight. Especially if they um, duct tape their arms to their side, and they could only use their legs, shoulders, or just their legs. Imagine trying to knock someone out with your shoulder. Yeah, and then it's just you stand in a small circle, and it's the first one to kick the other one out of the circle wins fifteen. Man, who do you reckon would win out of Shami and Jackson in a boxing match? I don't know. I think Jackson's got a bit more size. <laughs> um, yeah, fuck, man. I've never seen either of them fight. That w I would pay money to watch that. I would pay so we'll, we'll $5. Make it happen. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen for you, Luke. We'll get them to fight. We'll say to Shami, hey, Jackson said this. And then we'll say to yeah. Jackson, oh, shami has been saying this. And uh, yeah, we'll film it and uh, upload it. Great idea, Luke. Next question is from T underscore Rex 738. I've been seeing one of my good friend's pet cow for some time now and it's going super well. I think we might actually have a future and a good one at that. Congratulations. How do I break it to my mate's sister that I'm seeing someone else and what 
to call what we have off for good? Please help. Or should I ask for a three-way? Great question. Uh, so it, it is, it is it and time. isn't. It takes time, I guess. Yeah, well, it is and isn't a, a tricky situation because you're, you're doing what you want. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, uh, T-Rex, you got to do you, man. Like you, it's, it's your life, right? So you, you can't just keep doing what is expected of you. It's, it's just you're going to have to come out as a cow fucker. It's like it's, it's just a sexuality. You can't help it. You're just fucking born with it. So at the end, of, it's hard and there will be some backlash from family members. But, um, mate, just fucking do it. Just bite the bullet. Tell that bitch sister that uh, you're a cow fucker and then um, turn your back on her and live in the fields. No, doing that will make her want you more. I reckon. Yeah, and that too. You, you will instantly become more attractive to women if you come out as a cow fucker. Yeah. Like, man, ever since I sort of, you know, started fucking cows, like, it's so obvious. So many chicks sort of like, yeah, it's it's sort of scary. What, it puts out like a... A pheromone. Yeah, that's, I couldn't think of that uh, word. It put, out, it put out a pheromone uh, come out from your shoulders. And there smells in the air and the chicks think, fuck me. And it gets the breasts stimulated and then they, they sh- stick up. They stick up and shoot right up and then the fuckers just circle you for a bit. It's science. I don't know. It's probably not interesting, but um, yeah. you know, it's our life. So hmm. sorry to get all scientific on you <laughs> there. But yeah, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the science behind it. Next question is from Andrew Dot Champagne. And he has asked... Question for your podcast: When do you plan on being back in the United States to see all your overseas mates? Uh, maybe end of next year. Might go back if we're big enough. Oh, we'll, yeah, we have, we'll be big enough by then. Yeah, yeah. So probably end of next year, we'll come back for a fucking cheeky little filming session. Hey, where do you live, Andy? Hey, where do you live? Hey, yeah. Canada. Next question is from Matt underscore Levine, and he or she has asked, does Bosley like peanut butter? If do, how did you find out? He does like peanut butter, and I found out by um, slapping a <laughs> bit, of, bit of toast on his head. And he was uh, trying to get uh, insinuate, I reckon, that, that you put it on your balls. Yeah, 100%. Matt's trying to say that I smother my dick and balls in peanut butter and let Bosley lick it off. Marty's never hooked up with Bos like that. Only kiss. I only kiss him and... Um, yeah, but I've never let him. It's weird. He's yeah. He's my biological son. Yeah, it's yeah. It's not right, I guess. Um, but yeah, it is hilarious putting peanut butter on dogs' noses. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? They try and lick it off. Yeah, and then their tongues just go on nuts. Can it's we very do that? funny? Let's do that later. Yeah, we will. As soon as this podcast is done, do you guys have peanut butter? No. Okay. We'll, S- we'll do it later. Ya. See you later. Is that all? No. <laughs> this question is from Ricky Mayneza. How can I do to join your team? Uh, you have to send us six lamb skulls in a silver box. And then you are instantly accepted. So send that to our PO box, six lamb skulls in a pure silver box. So the pure silver box, it's, quite, it's worth quite a bit of money. And that is your buy-in. We've got... How are they gonna, yeah, I guess it is hard to get into our group. Six lamb skulls. Like, that's, yeah. And, like, they have to be, you can't just go and buy lamb skulls. They have to be, you know, just, just fucking. You got to do the deed. You got to twist the heads off. Look, you, you got to, you, you, you can't cut them off. You have to twist the heads off. I know it's graphic, but you have to show commitment if you want to join. How do you think Matt from Wholesome, he's fucking. He bought three lamb skulls over on Christmas last year and then another three the following week in two silver boxes. Boom. And here he is. Like, he works at Wholesome, but he also is... He's he's here. <laughs> Matt Brown from Wholesome. So, uh... <laughs> of course, our office is in, uh, in Milton there. <laughs> and he's, in fact, in charge of quite a lot of people. So... Uh, <laughs> oh. worked his way up the company uh, it's taken a long time he's working his way up uh, soon he will own wholesome I think can you finger your dick if you like pull all the skin forward then you can like 
Do it. I've shown you before. I don't yeah, know. No, you've shown heaps of people at kick-ons. <laughs> I can't. There's girls in the room. Just finger your dick, bro. Oh, Go finger your dick for the chicks, <laughs> man. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know why all right. I asked. That is our last Q&A for the season. Um, all right, just before we move on to the final segment. So we uh, season two will be starting in February and we're going to go a bit harder next year. Uh, we, we sort of, this is season one, is just a bit of a trial, just a bit of a see see how it goes, just a bit of a fucking get in or a fucking thing. And we've, we've, uh, we've cleaned up. I think we've made uh, $150 US this entire year from our podcast. How much? Really? Yep. $150 US. Fuck. And of course... Uh, so that's selling out. We've sold out. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we don't, we don't have any sponsors. We have nothing. But next year, we're going to come back and we're going we're gonna to have uh, more interactive segments. And um, it's, we're going to have a better set. <clears throat> um yeah so so stay tuned for that you'll you'll see us promoting on our uh socials anyway so just fucking relax and hang in there because fuck me we got some good shit coming next year <laughs> all right the last segment and it's uh been renamed Basically, I'm all right. <laughs> oh. Oh. and of course this is just where we do a prank call now this week's prank call is a bit different and it could go either way it could be shit or it could be good michael's going to uh call Dominoes and I. This is called the Curious Finger Father. The cu- Fingered Father. The Curious Fingered Father prank call. Yeah. So I, Michael has to Michael has to try and order food, and I'm going to try and stop him from ordering food using only my hands. Sexual harassment. It is hundred percent sexual harassment, and we're gonna see if he can get through it. Um. Yeah. Like I said, this could be a really shit prank call. Oh yeah. This. Oh, this is gonna. Be- I'm just going to be screaming the whole time. Yeah, well, you're going to have to get through it. And if he, if he can get through and order the food, then um, you, you get to, you get, you have to, you got to, ah! and if you can't get through it, then you have to skull three beers. No, I've only got one. Then you have to skull one beer. God, that smelt. Oh, yeah. Shock. These are my hands. For those for those listening, I will be using oh. these hands to sexually harass Michael oh, no. while he tries to complete an order. You have to order five pizzas. Hey man, um, I'm just wondering if I could uh, order a order a pickup delivery. Yeah, with delivery. Ha. Uh, boat. Uh, the first pickup. Thank you. Oh, it feels. This is fucking weird. Yeah. Oh, could I get the? There's like a a meal deal. Ah! A meal deal. Yeah, that sounds good. Speaking to the mic. Oh man, that sounds so hot. No. Stop! I can't handle it. Sorry, man. My, f- my father is here. My father is here. <laughs> um, yeah. Have you? Uh, yeah. So I'll get the Hawaiian and meat lovers, and ah, ah. Hawaiian and meat lovers. Yeah. And could I also get um ah ah no. <laughs> Oh, oh, actually, it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> um, could I get, yeah, and a Pepsi? Do you do Pepsi? A bottle of Pepsi? I'll get a Pepsi Max. Ah! I've got, oh, no! 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 Dude, don't put it in! Oh, fuck. You fucking dog. Oh, fuck. You are a fucking dog. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. That ah, fucking stressed me out hard. Sure, that was a uh, very strange, very strange prank call, that one. Uh, very good, though. Very good. Where's the Kangliz? <laughs> Put your clear lit on. Oh, yeah. <coughs> <laughs> All right, that was a weird prank call around the season. Now, the prank, calls, a- the prank calls are going to be very different next season as well. We're going to get you guys to send in, like, numbers of friends. 
and give us like a little description of you know what would be a funny prank call on them and then we're going to do that so it's just so we won't have to keep because as you can see we're sort of running out of ideas to fuck with dominoes like we and, and they every every dominoes in brisbane is sort of aware of us now so um we, we're gonna have to change it up but we will burn down a dominoes that's the yeah, that's the end term goal <laughs> long term goals to fuck. <laughs> we will take you down dominoes Pizza okay, guys. Will succeed. <clears throat> um, I hope you've enjoyed season one of the Marty and Michael fully actual podcast. Season two, like we said, first of or the beginning of February, we'll be back, and this shit set will be much better. And um, yeah, that's 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 about it. Thank you very much for listening. We've had over a hundred thousand listens, and that's without YouTube. So. And we are, yeah, well, pretty clearly we're the best. We're the best. best. Uh, we're we're the best. best. Uh, our closing argument is that we're the best. 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 We're the fucking best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. Oh, man. Five dollars. Five dollars too much. Fuck you, Anthony.